Imagine you wake up to the gentle caress of the Atlantic breeze, with the vibrant sounds of Lisbon's awakening streets below. Welcome to Portugal, a land where age-old traditions blend seamlessly with modern vibrancy. This picturesque country, perched on the southwestern edge of Europe, is a mosaic of lush landscapes, historic cities, and diverse cultures. From the sun-kissed beaches of the Algarve to the verdant valleys of Douro, Portugal offers a rich tapestry of experiences that make it not just a place to visit, it's a gem. The country's diverse landscape spans from the rugged cliffs of the Algarve coast, where the Atlantic Ocean crashes onto stunning beaches, to the mystical forests of Madeira, known for their ancient and lush Laura Silva woods. In the north, the Douro Valley offers a mesmerizing spectacle with its terraced vineyards that snake along the river, a testament to human ingenuity harmonizing with natural beauty. Central Portugal boasts the Serra da Estrela, the highest mountain range in mainland Portugal, which transforms into a winter wonderland, offering skiing opportunities, a rarity in the predominantly Mediterranean climate. The Azores, a group of volcanic islands in the mid-Atlantic, are replete with dramatic landscapes, from green pastures dotted with colorful hydrangeas to deep blue lakes in volcanic craters and steaming hot springs. Each of these locations not only highlights the geographic diversity of Portugal, but also provides unique ecosystems and a haven for a wide range of flora and fauna, making Portugal a captivating destination for anyone seeking to immerse themselves in nature's splendor. Portugal's geography is remarkably varied for a country of its size, covering approximately 92,000 square kilometers. It is bordered by Spain to the east and the Atlantic Ocean to the west, offering over 800 kilometers of coastline. The population of about 10 million is concentrated mainly in coastal areas like Lisbon and Porto, the two largest cities. The interior regions, such as Trazos Montes in the north and Alentejo in the south, are sparser, featuring more rural and natural landscapes. This demographic distribution affects everything from regional economic development to cultural traditions, with denser urban populations driving modernization and rural areas preserving historic and natural ways of life. Lisbon, Portugal's hilly coastal capital, is not only the political and economic heart of the nation, but also its cultural soul. The city's history stretches back to Roman times, and its landscape is punctuated with pastel-colored buildings, ancient ruins, and white-domed cathedrals. Lisbon's vibrant cultural scene is expressed through its eclectic mix of modern museums, such as the Museum of Art, Architecture and Technology, Me Eat and traditional venues like the Fado Bars of Alfama. The city's economy benefits from a mix of technology startups and traditional industries, fostering an environment of innovation within a framework of historical preservation. Lisbon's unique blend of old and new makes it an essential stop in any travel documentary, illustrating the dynamic evolution of Portuguese society. Portugal's history is deeply intertwined with the epochs of Roman and Moorish invasions, which have left a lasting architectural and cultural impact on the nation. The Age of Discovery, initiated in the 15th century, established Portugal as a major maritime and colonial power. Explorers like Vasco da Gama and Ferdinand Magellan set sail from Portuguese ports to chart unknown parts of the world, establishing sea routes to India, Africa, and Brazil. This era of exploration not only brought immense wealth, but also led to the cultural and architectural richness evident in the Manueline style, which blends Gothic and Moorish elements. Understanding Portugal's pivotal role in world history is essential for appreciating its contemporary global significance. Portugal enjoys a Mediterranean climate, characterized by long, hot summers and mild, wet winters. This climate is ideal for a variety of activities and lifestyles, promoting outdoor living and attracting tourists year-round. The mild weather facilitates the cultivation of olives, figs, and grapes, staples of the Portuguese diet and key exports. The consistent weather pattern also supports renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar power, 
contributing to the country's efforts in sustainability. The appealing climate plays a crucial role in the quality of life in Portugal, influencing everything from daily living and health to economic choices and environmental policy. Portuguese culture is a rich mosaic of influences, reflecting its historical ties with Africa, South America and Asia due to its maritime empire. This cultural diversity is visible in its music, dance and festivals. Fado, the most famous form of Portuguese music, is a melancholic genre that encapsulates themes of love, loss and redemption, often performed in intimate settings that encourage emotional connection with the audience. The country's cultural calendar is packed with festivals, including the animated Carnival of Madeira and the Solemn Holy Week in Braga. Showcasing the blend of pagan traditions and Christian beliefs, Portugal's culture not only enriches its residents' lives, but also makes it a fascinating subject for cultural studies and travel documentaries. The majority of Portuguese identify as Roman Catholic, and this religious identity shapes many of the country's festivals and daily practices. Annual religious events, such as the Festival of Santo Antonio in Lisbon, see locals take to the streets, decorating the city with arches and balloons, and serving traditional foods like grilled sardines. Pilgrimages, such as the one to Fatima, where the Virgin Mary is believed to have appeared to three children, draw millions of pilgrims from around the world. These events are not only spiritually significant, but also important to the social and economic fabric of the community, fostering a sense of identity and continuity. Portuguese cuisine offers a delightful culinary journey. Known for its emphasis on fresh seafood, spices and olive oil, the cuisine reflects the nation's maritime history. Bacalhau, dried and salted cod, is the most iconic dish, traditionally prepared in hundreds of different ways. However, the culinary scene also features a variety of meats, cheeses and sweets, such as pastel de nata, a creamy custard tart. The rich culinary tradition provides an insightful angle into the Portuguese way of life, where meals are a time for family and friends to gather and enjoy the bounty of the land and sea. The cost of living in Portugal is relatively low compared to other Western European countries, making it an attractive destination for expatriates and retirees. On average, a single person's monthly costs, excluding rent, are around Euro 600, Euro 700. Rent varies significantly by location, with Lisbon being the most expensive city where a one-bedroom apartment in the city center might cost about 1,000 euros per month, while in smaller cities or rural areas, the same could be as low as euro 400. Groceries are reasonably priced. A liter of milk costs approximately 60 cents, and a loaf of fresh bread is about one euro 10 cents. Dining out remains affordable, with a meal at an inexpensive restaurant costing around Euro 8, Euro 10 per person. Utilities for a standard apartment run about 100 euros monthly. These figures highlight Portugal's appeal, particularly for those seeking a European lifestyle without the high expense typical of the region. Portugal's economy has shown resilience and gradual growth, recovering from past economic challenges. As of recent data, the gross domestic product GDP of Portugal stands at about $252 billion, marking a rebound in its economic health. This recovery is driven by a significant uptick in the tourism sector, which contributes roughly 15% to the GDP, alongside a growing technology sector that attracts international startups and talent. Additionally, Portugal's commitment to renewable energy has spurred investments in solar and wind projects, reflecting a sustainable approach to economic growth. The agricultural sector, particularly the production of cork and olive oil, remains a staple of the traditional economy, contributing consistently to export earnings. Despite these positive trends, Portugal's GDP per capita remains at around $26,000, which is below the European Union average, highlighting ongoing efforts to enhance economic prosperity and living standards across the country. Portugal offers a progressive tax system where tax rates escalate with income, aimed at distributing the tax burden more equitably among its citizens. The country has also implemented various tax incentives to attract foreign investors and skilled professionals, such as the Non-Habitual Resident Program, 
which offers tax benefits for the first 10 years of residency. Wages in Portugal are rising, although they remain lower than the European average, reflecting the ongoing economic adjustments and market conditions. The government continues to focus on policies to improve employment rates and working conditions, aiming to build a more robust and equitable economy. Portugal is known for its low crime rate and high standards of safety. It is regularly ranked among the safest countries in the world. The nation's strong community policing, effective legal system, and general social stability contribute to this sense of security. This reputation for safety attracts many expatriates and international students, further enhancing Portugal's multicultural ambiance and reinforcing its status as a peaceful country in which to live and travel. The Portuguese government operates under a democratic framework with a strong emphasis on civil liberties and political stability. Its legal system is well-developed and transparent, providing a solid foundation for business operations and personal security. The government's focus on social welfare, education, and health has led to high living standards and public satisfaction. Laws and regulations in Portugal are enforced fairly and consistently, which maintains order and supports the country's continued economic and social development. 